first of all, I want to say thank, thank you to everybody that has prayed for me and my family. Bless the Lord. It's it's been quite an adventure going through this, and if it weren't for God and all the people that prayed for me, I don't think I could have got this far. Amen. And uh, I know it's been a lot of worries on my family, and just like Jennifer said, you got to lay in God's hands, and I think I've had more people worry about me and worry for me than I have. I've, just, I've, I've accepted what's happened to me. I've not questioned it. It's it's brought around a lot of good things in my life because of it. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, and I've been healed more. I'm still healing, but I've been healed in other ways. Yes. Me and my dad has never been close. I've never respected him or really loved him. But they are there. And I'm glad to see Bless you, Lord. You know, that may sound weird, but I really I've got to spend more time in the summer with my kids than I ever have. Bless you, Lord. Yes. The blessing. Thank you, Lord. My son, this is the best summer he's had. Because he's got to spend time with me. You know, he shouldn't be having to stay in the house and watch after me. It's been, him and my daughter both have been like, <laughs> and they help me out every day. And my wife there, they send me back here sometimes. She's been there for me, you know, working and plus dealing with me. I'm not the easiest to deal with sometimes. I'm sure she'll be back here. She's not either, believe it or not. together, me and my kids. People here, you know, have done things for me without us asking. You know, we had a main water line break into our house and without even asking or even suggesting them, Tony there, Tony there and Mindy came out and fixed it for us and didn't ask nothing while Tony asked it. We just peed. <laughs> <laughs> Which that's fine. You know, that's not very much to ask for. You know. <laughs> and his, uh, was it your cousin that came out? Yeah. Cousin came out, we tried offering him money and let nobody take it. You know, they've seen it as a good deed and, you know, I'm blessed that we've had this family here and I never can't remember your name, I just remember the guy that sits back here and crinkled the bottle that one day. <laughs> All right, Greg, and then he came over and we conversated for a while and talked about how you know, God's blessed us and, uh, uh, even if you've not come over, just asking for a prayer for me, that's yeah. good enough, and that's all I've needed. Is yeah. Healing through this, I was lucky, you know, and I found out that I pretty much almost had bled out. Yeah. It did. I don't know why, but it did. I said he's got you know, other people say well he's got plans for you. Yes, he does. I don't know what he's got for you. Thank you. He's not done with you yet. Not right. Thank God he's not. Got so much still to do. Yes. The main thing is I'm ready to get back to work to help others. So, no idea. I don't know if you know, I work up here at Queen or Spook Bay, up here at Nancy. And it wasn't a position that I was thinking I was going to get put in. And I'm the person who usually sits in the back and is shy and quiet. And then I got to working up there and got through in front of as many as 100 people. And I got to talk to them and help them out so they can help us out. And I was scared to death. I tell you, shaking while I was talking, but now it's something I enjoy doing. And, you know. I'm glad I got flipping in that position and I got to help out so many more. Sure it's it. come back. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I just I don't know why he's done what he has done. I'm not questioning it. It's just brought nothing but good things. 
from my family and from the church family. And without all of you, I don't think I could get up and where I was at. And, you know, I've prayed and prayed. People come over and prayed, and that right there has been something that's I'm not used to. Brother Mark came over one day and prayed, and you, you know what somebody means it because when he held on my hand, he started praying. I could feel it. Yes. I mean, it was weird. It was like it kept through my hand that he was holding. Yes. This family here. I'm sorry. George Ann and Ken. There we go. George Ann and Ken came over and they came out there, I was out there by my garden, and they laid their hands on me, and they know that was something years ago I would have been really uh, freaked out about. Yeah. <laughs> thought that was really goofy or something, you know, and thought, well, oh, the neighbors are going to see me. And they asked if it was okay, and oh, I bring it on. <laughs> While they touched me, I felt the same thing. You just feel this energy come through again. Amen. And they went up laying in bed, and I had some church members come over. I don't know who it was, but... Everybody surrounded me and they put their hands on me and it was just chill after chill. This energy that just kept going through me and when they took their hands off, it went away. But the feeling was still there, the love and the yes. thoughts. Amen. I want to thank everybody for that and I really appreciate it. Our family appreciates it. And just say uh, amen and thank God. Oh yeah, you feel it. I, so they come in, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> the Tim come over, asked me if I wanted to do, you know, talk, and I'm like, oh, you're gonna be crying already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and just being up, I said, being up. I never thought I could do this, just sit up here and talk. I appreciate all of your help and all your blessings. Amen. We are so glad.